I'm going to be testing out uh, VMware Workstation 6.5 Beta with uh, DirectX 9 support on uh, Vista Ultimate 64-bit edition. I will be using a Windows XP SP2 32-bit um, professional as my virtual machine and I'm going to use this uh, MMO game Neo Steam to test out uh, the DX9 support with uh, pixel shading. So you can see that uh, load times uh, between programs are, is really smooth. It runs um, pretty much like a native operating system. Maybe a little bit slower, but it still does uh, load fast than uh, previous builds. And um, usually it'll be slow. It'll be slower for me because I'm recording right now, so... It'll, uh, it's a lot faster if I wasn't recording. So the transition between uh, between screens or between load times is just fast. It's like it's like any regular game that you would load on. And it, this does run the same way as a, on a native system, even the load times. And I'm sure there are a few tweaks you can make to make it run faster. This is running off of VMware's uh, graphics uh, hardware, their emulation, which is uh, so far very impressive. So you can see right now that uh, it does work and run. Full DX9 mode, and there might be a few uh, sound glitches, but really minor, and uh, maybe some text glitches. But maybe this is just the cause of uh, my recording, so it might be different for for you guys. Um, you can. I have, this is the first game I've uh, tested out, so you can try and download this and look for uh, other games to test out to experiment with. But remember, this is just the first stages, so it's it's really something to actually see DirectX 9 games work properly. And I run this on Windows mode so I can see how much uh, how much this uh, VMware uh, can handle the game in Windows mode. Usually, it takes up a lot more resources. But it looks to me that it's running fine. Maybe slight uh, lag at some points of the game, but it is playable. That is, if you, if you can stand, uh, stand uh, dro um, a few drops in frame rate. Alright, we're gonna go to another map to see how fast it will go. So there you go. The transition between uh, loading between maps is just perfect. Especially this uh, train scene. This is actually exactly the same as how you'd see it on a native system. It runs perfect. And no crashes, no no uh, delays. Everything runs fine. So I guess uh, the only thing that VMware is trying to fix is probably the speed or the memory, the memory bandwidth of uh, their emulation. Since running a lot of things on one map can really be a lot for uh, for a virtual PC, but it does run does run average. In 
for those people with low-end systems that already experience this type of lag, then you won't have a problem playing this on a higher-end system. And there you go. Hopefully we'll find, uh, we'll find better and more, uh, and much stronger support in the later builds. And hopefully when retail comes out. When it comes out, it'll support at full speeds. It's probably the only virtual uh, PC, or rather a virtual machine, that plays full DirectX support at this speed. I haven't seen this in Wine or in the... Well, Wine, it, it, uh, for Linux, it does run properly if you have fine few tweaks. But for those who have, don't have the time to do that, for debugging and uh, trying to fix things, then VMware is suitable for you since it works off, off of that. So. And that's it. And if I do get my uh, Linux version, I'll uh, test it out and I'll, I'll record another video. For now, Windows users can enjoy and like I said, this is in medium settings at uh, pixel shading 2.0. And this will run well. Because if this game can run, then WoW can run. 